everyone, Monroe Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and the second New York Fashion Week vlog. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right guys, in my last New York Fashion Week video, I left off here at the Standard Hotel. I had a beautiful night's sleep. Um, I woke up this morning, ordered some room service. The breakfast is incredible. I don't know what kind of orange juice this is, but it rivals the orange juice in Paris. Speaking of Paris, I just booked my flight last night um, to go to Paris for Paris Fashion Week. I now need to just book some accommodations and see if I can do some pulls and things. Um, it should be fun. It's kind of last minute, <laughs> just like New York Fashion Week, but you know, we move. Um, Skims house dress. I'm checking out of this place today. I only stayed for one night, but I would highly recommend it. I'm in a king suite. I'm gonna have a beautiful view of Meatpacking District. I can see the Empire State Building from my window. And it's actually pretty quiet, even though there's a nightclub right next door. Um, Le Bain, yes. Uh, so yeah, I'm about to shoot some campaigns. I'm gonna quickly do my makeup. I'm gonna shoot a campaign for Good American. Um, it should be out already, I believe, or coming out. You guys are going to love the two looks. They're very similar. So I'm shooting that and then I'm heading to a Zara pop-up. You guys know I'm a Zara ambassador and they are having a pop-up here in New York City in collaboration with the brand. Um, I believe there will be some, uh, Zara executives there. Um, so I'm looking forward to meeting them. And then we're going to head home, relax before heading to a presentation today, which is Zemo, a uh, fashion presentation. And then finally, today is Super Bowl Sunday. We are heading to a watch party at a beautiful location with Remy Martin. So I have a super busy day. Um, so I'm already running late. Let's get into this, this face. My hair is done. Like <laughs> I wore that my hair out as long as I could, which was three days. It lasts a lot longer in New York, to be honest. But I need to be out of this room in two hours and my photographer is coming in 20 minutes. And I'm nowhere near prepared. So let's go do this and quickly chat a little bit while I do my face. I'm gonna start with some Clinique Moisture Surge. Lord knows I need it because there is no moisture in the air in New York. Whereas there's too much moisture of the air in Miami, which is why I feel like my hair thrives in New York and my skin thrives in Miami. <laughs> but yeah, that's that. I've been loving New York Fashion Week so far. I'm glad that I actually did it <laughs> because you guys know I was thinking about not participating and I was just going to go on a trip somewhere and but this was the inspiration i needed just being amongst like my peers and seeing the fashion and also just being reminded that i have so many blessings in this industry things that i prayed for um collaborations and sponsorships that i've only dreamt of i mean i needed to be reminded of that i do i feel uh, that i express my gratitude a lot but sometimes it's easy to forget like where i came from because of where I'm trying to go. So yeah, I'm really happy that I came because I feel that it sparked, you know, motivation, the motivation I've been kind of lacking since December. I felt burnt out from all of the campaigns and just everything. But it's good to know when I shared that on social media, also when I shared it on YouTube, a lot of you said you were feeling the same way and um a lot of planets were <laughs> in retrograde and people were just feeling a slow start to the year and so i'm glad that i am not alone in that feeling but i'm seriously getting back to feeling more energized and motivated for sure um i'm using beauty counter i'll link it down below it's just tinted moisturizer Gonna top that off with Laura Mercier powder. This is the medium deep powder. And I pretty much use this as foundation. <laughs> I mean, it's supposed to be like a finisher, but 
it's super light blends right in and gives you a, a nice glow i'll link it down below i'm not doing a very heavy look because we're just shooting some reels and a, a few pictures and then uh that's pretty much it but yeah new york fashion week is pretty fun this year the thing about new york is the pr changes over so quickly sometimes you're in sometimes you're out sometimes they invite you sometimes they don't so to anyone that's new to coming to new york fashion week and you're feeling discouraged i got a few dms of people feeling discouraged because you know you're starting out or you've been out for a little while um of your like content creator fashion career and you're not getting invites i mean it took me years so many years to get invites um what I would suggest you do is the brands that you really love and you know that show every New York Fashion Week and you want to end up going to their shows and covering them eventually, start cultivating that relationship. Don't wait until a month before New York Fashion Week to reach out to a designer and ask for an invite when you haven't bought anything from them, you haven't spoken about them, you haven't done a blog post, a TikTok, you haven't featured their brand in anything um, because they know that that's coming from a place where you just wanting to be there for show because you don't necessarily support that brand. So you have to start cultivating those relationships, responding to their DMs, watching their stories, following them on Instagram. You shouldn't be following a brand all of a sudden because you want to be invited to their show. Like people, the PR people, they can see right through that. So all year, start now. If you want to go in September, start now. Look at the schedule, follow all of the brands that you love um start attending any events that they have in store start finding a way to incorporate some of those pieces some of those clothing items into your post tagging them in it if you can't afford to buy those products you can write blog posts about it you can feature them in roundups in your stories the things that you're loving um there are plenty of ways to support brands that are out of your out of your price range that don't include buying from them um so yeah start now and cultivate that relationship all year and then when it comes to october no when it comes to august right before september then you reach out for those fashion shows so it just takes time you know don't get discouraged all right so talking to you guys is going to take me forever to do my makeup and I don't have forever <laughs> i'll check back in when i'm dressed and ready for my good american campaign all right guys i'm dressed and ready i'm in my first look for good american it is this pink two-piece set it's incredible it's kind of like a spandex like a shiny sheen i love that the sleeves have these little zippers as well that you can unzip um it's really fitted and then i have on the matching pants let me lower you so you can see the pants the pants are stirrups can you believe it they have like a little pleat down the front and a little stirrup that i put under my shoe that's like one of my fun little tricks and i love it this is like the perfect power suit for like a fashionista uh the shoes are old margella and the sunglasses are and other stories and we're gonna go shoot this one first and then i have another all pink look also from good american that we're gonna shoot so let's go Right, guys just finished up the shoot with the two good american looks they are both incredible if they are out by the time this video goes up which i believe they will be i'll link them down below so i put on this zara ribbed knit asymmetrical neckline dress it's a midi dress i bought this in paris but i'm about to head to a zara pop-up right now 
um, they have a collaboration going on and I'll get to check out some of the pieces and preview them for you all. And I believe I get to pick a few out as well. So that should be fun. Let me show you guys the full look. I'm going to flip you over. Outfit of the day wearing this Zara dress. It's an asymmetrical midi dress. It's ribbed, super warm. This is old. I got it while I was in Paris for Paris Fashion Week. I paired it with these sock booties with a really cool heel. The sunnies are and other stories. The lip is Dior 999, my favorite red. And we're gonna top it off with this YSL coat or jacket. And that is the look for today. Let's go. All right, so my bag is all packed. We are about to check out of the standard. I really enjoyed it. If you want a room tour, check out the first vlog before this one. Um, it's a really great place. I loved it. It was quite affordable too for it to be New York Fashion Week. Um, maybe I will plan to stay here more often during Fashion Week. But we're gonna go with this bag today because I only brought two bags. My old Celine pillow bag. Everyone loves this bag. It's so good. Suitcase, cow pack, my favorite. Gonna close this up and then I have my Reeve Gauche which is great for being a huge carry-on. Definitely gonna take this to Paris. Grab my phone and let's check All out. right guys, just got finished shooting with Kane like right here outside of the standard Highline Hotel. Um, now I'm heading to the Zara pop-up, which I'm really excited about. Um, they've done a collaboration, so I'm looking forward to seeing what they have in store and showing you guys what they have as well. checked out of the standard after I went and checked out the Zara pop-up in collaboration now this is a men's collection and the pop-up is happening until the 18th in uh, Soho anybody can come in and shop but I actually met um, someone from the team there and it was really really nice to catch up with her and to tell her like how things have been going with the Zara Ambassador program, which is through Captivate. So if you just Google Captivate, you'll see. Um, they reached out to me to become an ambassador. I'm not sure if you can actually apply at this moment, but that's the platform I go through to become a Zara Ambassador. I'm pretty sure they have information on Zara's website as well, but yeah. They loved my Zara dress. But this collection is actually a men's collection. It will be in stores soon on Zara's, and in Zara, I believe she said on February, no, not February 20th. Yes, February 22nd. So I picked out two items. They so kindly gifted these two items to me. They are, all, everything is men's that I'm showing you. But how cute is this? It's a really cool um, bomber, like a silky fabric with gray, baby blue, white, 
And then on the back, it has the brand symbol. It says redesigning human uniform. Really cute. I'll try it on for you guys. But as soon as I tried this on, I was like, yeah, I can make so many looks with this. And then it looks so good with this dress that I have on. So I got this in a large because I wanted it to be a little oversized, but super cute. I'll make sure to link this down below if I can. So yeah, that's the first thing I got from this collab. I can definitely dress this up, dress it down with a little heel, a sneaker. It's really, really soft and cozy and it has a nice little pocket on the inside. And then next up, you would have seen me try these on in the cutaway when I was at the pop-up, but I got these cargo pants. They're like a brushed cotton, so they're really soft and sturdy. Like they're not flimsy at all. And I love how they fit. I am trying on the small medium um, and they are perfect for me. They sit high up on my waist, cinch you in at the waist and then are super long. They go past my feet. So I will have to wear them with the heel. If you're on the shorter side, you they do have these little drawstrings at the bottom. So you can make it tight, pull it up, and then it's more of a baggy feel so they're not sweeping the ground. But these are perfect. The perfect black cargo, definitely giving like Attico vibes if you like that. There's so many pockets. <laughs> I think there's three pockets on each side, including the pockets here on the waist and then two pockets on the back. And y'all saw them on, they fit so well. So yeah, definitely check these out. This is their Spring Summer 23 collection. You're gonna love it. Um, shout out to them too for inviting me and for gifting me these two pieces. Um, after that, I popped down to Louis. Um, I just wanted to take a look at some things. I wasn't really in the market to actually buy something. Um, what is this? Oh, he gave me a gift. I didn't even notice. <laughs> um, so look at this cute little gift. I was like, what is this? It's a gift of like all of their fragrances. That's really sweet. I had no idea that was in there. He's super nice. Um, my essay. And I went to the Louis and Soho. But as soon as I saw these, I was like, yeah, I need them. I should do an unboxing, but... We just gonna go for it because I have so much content at the moment. Who knows if it'll ever get posted anywhere. So if you can tell from the box, I got a pair of sunglasses. How beautiful is that leather embossed case? I'm like, this is so light. I don't know if there's anything in here. All right. Of course, beautiful felt little dust bag and I actually got these from men's because I thought they were so cool how fun are these can you see the colors they're like hieroglyphic orange green and clear and they are just super cool so I'll try them on for you ah, I love them I mean, they're just, can you see me in Miami on a yacht, on a boat, in these? It's a moment. Ah! I love them. Oh my God, they're so good. Ah, oh, taste the rainbow. So yeah, I'm obsessed with them. I'm gonna create some cool looks with these. Um, last but not least, I did order some things from Amazon. <laughs> You guys, I ordered some hair clips. I thought I would get these in time for me to kind of wear my hair semi straight and up, but my hair is already reverted. These were supposed to come in a day. They took longer than a day. I'll link the exact ones down below because I know all the girlies are into the clips now. So they come with three. We have the round clip. Can you see it? Is it focusing? There we go. So we have the round clip. 
and then we have the square clip in the same color okay and then we have the round one here the square one there and then i also got black and it's kind of like a, a matte all of these are matte colors and i was just gonna like when my hair was more straight i was gonna do a little clip moment have some tendrils down but my hair is already reverted so i have to blow dry it like straight again to get that type of look but i'm happy to have these clips and these multiple colors and I will link them from Amazon because I think they were only like eight bucks. Like something incredible. All right. That is it for new in. Um, I'm going to try and do the description box for the first New York Fashion Week vlog. No, the pre New York Fashion Week vlog that should go live today is uploading now. I need to do the, the description box. I have lunch coming. And then I quickly need to get ready to head back downtown for Zemo show. Hopefully it starts on time so I can get to the Super Bowl party with Remy Martin. All right. I'll check in when I am dressed and ready to head to the show. All right, guys. So I managed to get my video up. I don't think it's the best video, but what are you going to do? I'm going to show you my outfit. We're heading to Zemo presentation and then to the Super Bowl party. I literally threw this outfit together. I had a different outfit, didn't like how it looked. Threw this together, last minute, let's go. So this jacket is from, I just did a campaign with them, Michael Kors. <laughs> a lot of you love this jacket and ended up purchasing it. I love it too. I got it in a medium, it is great. I cinched it in at the waist. It does have these drawstrings so you can cinch it in. Then I just have on this denim little bustier and this denim Zara skirt that everybody has and these boots. I hardly ever wear them because I keep forgetting that I have them. They are old AW. Um, that's the look, the lip, Dior of course, 999. Put my hair up into a little pony and this is just gonna have to work. The bag we are going to do my little Prada triangle bag. And then I'm gonna wear this straight to the Super Bowl party as well with Remy Martin. That's the look. Let's go.
right guys it's a beautiful night it's freezing um i just left zemo presentation it was pretty cool everything was kind of knitted and meant to be layered and layered and layered so yeah now i'm here heading to the super bowl party with remy martin my girl amani is going to join me and here's a better look at my look for this evening yeah i'm ready for rihanna's show oh they have a zuzu's here cool As you all can see, your girl is back in Miami. I kind of cut my New York Fashion Week short. I was tired. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I don't feel like I did the bare minimum. I did quite a bit of stuff, but I was just ready to come home. I needed some sun. And also, since I decided pretty last minute to go to Paris, I really needed to get back to Miami to prepare for that and get a lot of things in order. I had some furniture being delivered here. So we cut New York Fashion Week short, but I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the vlog that went live on Wednesday. So yeah, we are back and I'm thrilled to be back. Um, I'm actually gonna rewind it back and take you all to an event that I went to last night here in Miami at the Good Time Hotel, which is Pharrell's and Dave Rutman's Hotel for CoverGirl. But before we do that, I came home to quite a bit of packages. Some of them are like Valentine's Day packages. So I want to show you guys what I got. Now, y'all would have seen me go to the Remy Martin Super Bowl party, uh, which was basically a Rihanna concert. But when I got back here, I realized that the Fenty Beauty team had sent me a Team Fenty box. And I was supposed to actually open this before game day. But yeah, so let me show you what I got in here. There's a little card here. 
it just says it's officially game day here's everything you need to rep team fenty at your watch party get your fenty game face on with these fenty beauty and skin essentials ah! let's get into it first of all this is so cute the packaging and there is a bunch of fenty uh, beauty and fenty skin products in here let's go through it okay so here's what we have we have a team fenty beauty little clear makeup case which will come in so handy during travel love anything clear because then you can see everything you need um down here what is this oh this is like a little cup holder oh this is super cute let me open oh so this is like a little cup holder this would have come in handy too we have some peel and stick eye stickers very cute some buttons I have a denim jacket I can put these on so cute and then let's get into these products okay I'm most excited about this this is the this is the gloss bomb in color Riri I actually have this on my lips right now um, I'll show you guys a close-up version I've already used to <laughs> use this but I packaged it back up so you guys could see how cute so you guys could see how cute the packaging is so this is what I have on my lips right now. It is so beautiful. I love it. So I just want to show you what it, how it looks on. Oh, this is very bright. There we go. You can see it has a bit of a shimmer in it. It is so pretty. Mm, I love it. It's so good. I'm going to link this down below for y'all because if you're a gloss girl, this is the one and not the two. Okay. In addition to that, we have the matte stick, um, matte skin stick in color truffle. This would be great for contouring. So here we go. The matte stick and truffle. This will definitely be great for contouring. How cute is this? This is a makeup sponge, you guys. I love it. This is so cute. Let me take it out. Okay, so it's a little football and I love it. Very cute. So we also have this velvet liquid lipstick also in the same color, Riri. I'm gonna open this up because this looks beautiful. So here it is. Uh, I love the packaging. Next up, we have the Pro Filter here and Kilowatt here with two colors. So this is actually my color, which is perfect. It's 420 and the Pro Filter. I love the compact, it's super cute. And this is the Kilowatt in Hustler Baby and Mean Money. Last but not least, we have the Fenty Skin Hydra Visor, which is an invisible moisturizer with SPF 30. And then we have the Pro Filter um, Foundation in liquid form. Oh, they really blessed your girl. So special thanks to the Fenty Beauty team for all of these goodies. Like, I'm obsessed. I'm gonna link this down below because I think y'all are gonna love it, along with everything else that they sent over. And liked it i really enjoyed the rihanna concert with a little bit of football if you know what i mean okay next up i got a little something sorry about the light from my friends over at oscar de la renta they actually reached out to me uh, to send a valentine's day gift to a friend as well so i had them send the same gift to my girl ria and she liked her gift i mean i don't have a man yet <laughs> So why not bless a friend? But how beautiful. If you guys remember, um, Oscar De La Renta had a beautiful show here in Miami Beach not too long ago and they invited me and I really enjoyed myself. So let's open this up together. Oh, I really don't wanna take this off. Let's see if I can, oh, perfect. I don't know what's in here. Ooh, so nice. Okay, whatever it is, it's small. Oh, the card says, 
Uh, happy Valentine's Day from Oscar de la Renta. Scratch below to reveal your secret admirer. Of course, it's the, <laughs> the Oscar de la Renta team. Okay, here we go. What's in here? What is in here? Oh my God. They sent me some earrings. They're so cute. Okay, these are silver heart earrings. Now this is perfect because I don't have a lot of silver earrings. Come on and focus for me. There we go. I don't have a lot of silver earrings. It's like two silver hearts. In fact, I don't have any earrings right now. So let me pop these in. Oh, they're so cute. Wait, how does this one go? I'm getting emotional. <laughs> I'm about to cry. Here's the thing, I try not to get so emotional online, but like sometimes I really can't help myself. Can you see them? Oh, they're so cute. Special thank you to Oscar De La Renta team. I mean, I think I'm getting emotional because I, in the traditional sense, didn't have a Valentine this year. And so the fact that a brand sent me something for Valentine's Day, it makes me feel really like special. Um, that's not true. I have a ton of cousins and aunts and we all had like a Valentine's Day FaceTime family call and we are all each other's Valentine's. So I do have a Valentine, but like it's nice to get a gift. These are really cute and I don't have like any silver earrings. I love them. Like I'm not sure if they sell these at Oscar de la Renta, but if they do, I'll link them down below. Oh, special thanks, I have to send them an email. Like everybody who sent me things, I need to send them an email after I'm done showing y'all everything, of course. Okay, next up, ah, I feel special. My friends over at Anicio Perfumes, they sent me something. Look how beautiful this packaging is. Ugh. They also sent me a little card. Let's see what it says. It says Anicio Perfumes Cardinal Blends. Oh my God, I know there's not four perfumes in here. Okay, I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. I just put my makeup. I just put my makeup. And I got somewhere to go. I'm not gonna cry. But I kinda wanna cry. Because y'all, I swear, no one got me a Valentine's Day present. Like, all this stuff from brands is the only thing I got for Valentine's Day. Let's open it up. I yeah, I'm, is it? Are there four perfumes in here? Because if so, I'm gonna flip. Okay, beautiful packaging as always. Okay, I thought they sent me the whole collection. I was about to be like, what? So they sent me the Atomic Rose. How beautiful. Let's see, do they have the notes in here? Atomic Rose, Italian Bergamot, Bulgarian Rose, Turkish Rose, Egyptian Jasmine and Madagascar Vanilla. All naturals. This sounds like something I would love. In fact, this sounds like something my girl Brittany would love because she's, I know she loves those roses, the Bulgarian and Turkish rose, and I know she likes bergamot, I think. I've watched enough of her <laughs> um, perfume videos to know. This is so stunning. I always forget how to get in here. Come on. Okay, that's just the cover. This is stunning, like, I love their perfumes. Let's turn you off. My sister is getting married, y'all, and I've, have I, I've been a bridesmaid before, but I've never been a maid of honor before. And it's a lot of work. I'm tired. <laughs> oh, the wedding is not until next year. And she is on my, about doing so much stuff. Anywho, that's another topic for another day. So let's open this up. Ah! This is so pretty. This is so pretty. Like, do you guys see this packaging? 
like it's next level this is next level don't focus on me focus on what's important here camera how beautiful this is all of their bottles are really beautiful but i've never seen like a purple one let's spray it i feel like i'm gonna love this should i spray it on i mean we'll see whoa wow this reminds me of something you know what it reminds me of mason um francis kirk dijon um gold the gold one this is what that reminds me of wow yeah that's exactly what that reminds me of it smells really good and then we have this i think this is a little sampler yep this has all four in here how cute is this it should pull out so in here we have the side effect psychedelic love high frequency and atomic rose yes this is atomic rose right because th that's exactly what it smells like a rose that just exploded but then that madagascar vanilla i like it and i normally don't like rose scents but i like it so shout out to anishio i'll link this down below i'm becoming a perfume girl i mean i always kind of have been but yeah this is a beautiful gift i really appreciate them and that my darlings is it for my PR gifts and the little Valentine's Day gifts. Thank you to Fenty Beauty, Oscar De La Renta, Anishio for all of the gifts. I've linked everything down below. Definitely check out these brands and hopefully they have these earrings because I love them. Okay, so I'm gonna get myself together and I'm gonna go shopping. Um, I feel like I deserve a treat. I'm probably, I, I feel like I want to buy myself a really nice piece of jewelry, but we'll see, you never know. Um, so what I'm going to do now is rewind it back to last night and take you guys to a couple girl event with me and then we'll come back here and we'll be off. Hello everyone. So yes, we are back in Miami like we never left and I have to say I'm so happy to be back in Miami. It's absolutely beautiful today. I did a bike ride. Mm. Oh, the weather is incredible. Okay, so I rewound it back because I'm taking you guys with me to the CoverGirl um, 15th anniversary of their mascara. And it's happening at Good Time Hotel, which is Dave Grutman and Pharrell's. So much going on with Pharrell right now. Um, it's their hotel here in South Beach. And it should be fun. So I thought I would make a splash in some beautiful color wearing this uh, Michael Kors dress that you would have seen me shoot a few vlogs ago. I've been working with them uh, for the past like month or so. This dress is everything. I'm wearing, I believe, a medium or a US 6. It also comes in black. It's a really thick knit, but it's not like heavy. Um, it's not see-through at all, fits like a dream has a zipper up the back but yeah you guys would have seen this already and if you haven't it's also on my instagram go on over there and give your girl a follow so i would have done an unboxing of all of the things i got from fenty beauty for the super bowl which was pretty much a rihanna concert with a little bit of football if you watched it you know you know my girl did her thing there will be no re-slander over here okay she's pregnant all right come on but yeah, in that unboxing that I showed you all, this was in there. This is the glass bomb called Riri. And I thought it would be perfect for tonight, even though I'm not typically a gloss girl. Ooh, it smells good. Okay, let's see. Okay, so it does have a little bit 
I can see the glitter in this. And it does have a little bit of a pigment as well. Usually things like this don't, don't show up on me because I have fairly darker lips. But like, is this the look I wanna go for? It's cute! With my little hair up in a puff, I have Dior, uh, the Mitza Collection eyeshadow palette on my lids. I have that red. I have Dior um, a contour on as well. I like this. If you're like a nudie type girl and you do like a brown lip with a little bit of gloss with a hint of like a mauve, a pink, this is perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna wear this tonight. I like it. Okay, for the shoe, we are going to do my Lueve Bloom Sandals because y'all know, this is gonna get me, you know, I'm gonna be noticed when I wear these. So we're gonna do those. And I think for the bag, should we do the full Michael Kors look? Because this is the Michael Kors bag. It's like a pony hair zebra print to bring out the black in the shoe and a little bit of white. Or should we do the Caperni zebra from Farfetch? Don't forget to use my code, girl. 10 MS for 10% off of full price items at Farfetch for new customers only, sorry. I wish they would do it for everybody, but I didn't get that kind of code this time. I think we're gonna do the Caperni. Well, I can't wear it on my shoulder. Do I feel like holding something all night? At least I know that y'all can fit in here, but then I'm gonna have to hold my phone in my hand the whole night. Do I feel like doing that? I don't know, but this is cute. This is a moment. I think we're gonna go with the zebra bag. All right, I'm gonna get everything all together. I need an earring. Um, we'll pick a scent, we'll pick an earring. I'll come back when it's, when it's come together and we're gonna head out. They sent your girl a lift code. Thank goodness. I mean, it's not too far from where I live, but every little bit counts because the Ubers in New York, I'm not even gonna front y'all. I spent about $700 on Ubers during New York Fashion Week, almost $1,000 on Ubers alone. Girl, I need all the help I can get with these Uber codes. Ooh, my lips are shining. I like this. Okay, we're gonna go with Bald Afrique, my favorite from Byredo. And what should I mix it with? Hmm, let's go with, you know what? I've never tried to mix Bald Afrique. Oh, you know what? Let's do the Amber Nui from Christian Dior. Okay, that's doing something. That's that's mixing up. It's it's coagulating, coordinating, collaborating. I like it. It's cute. I'll let y'all know at the end of the night if I got any compliments. Okay, so tonight's fragrances, Barreto and Christian Dior, Amber Nui. I like it. Ooh, this might be my new favorite. Mm. Okay, y'all. Um, the earrings, I went with these ghost hoops from Hoop Mob. You guys know Hoop Mob, black owned business. These earrings were definitely not any more than 20 bucks. But they come in so handy because they match with everything because they're clear, which is why they're called ghost hoops. Don't worry, they're linked down below. Okay, I need to put on some lotion. I need to pop y'all in here. Let's not forget this because for some reason, lip gloss does not stay on my lips. That's why I'm usually a true blue lipstick girl because lip gloss stays on my lips for like 20 minutes and then it just dissolves. I don't know why. If, if this happens to you as well, if you are a true lip gloss girl and you have to reapply every hour, 
is the lip gloss really doing what it's supposed to do? Sound off below if you're a lipstick girl or a lip, if you are a lip gloss girl and let me know if, if that's normal. Is the lip gloss supposed to last? Where does it go? Anywho, okay. Let me show you the full look and we're out of here. All right guys, so here is the full look. We have the Michael Kors dress. I've linked it down below. Also comes in black. The Loewe balloon sandals. My Caperni zebra bag. The ghost hoop earrings from Hoop Mob. And then this uh, Fenty Beauty gloss on the lip. I'll link the direct one that I use down below. And then I just tried a little something different with my hair. I like moved the puff closer to the front of my head. And I actually use product to kind of like gel down my hair because I think I'm gonna wash it soon. All right, that's the look. Everything is linked down below. Let's go. Instagram. She's another New York transplant who moved 
to Miami. There is a group of us and we all know each other. Um, saw so many cool people, met some people for the first time, and also got to meet some people from the CoverGirl marketing team, um, their PR. It was really, really fun and I love the good time. The food there is incredible. Anytime there's an event there, I always go. So shout out to CoverGirl for inviting me. They were celebrating the Lash Blast Mascara 15 years. Can y'all believe it's been 15 years since Lash Blast Mascara came out? I remember going to either Dwayne Reed or CVS to get that mascara and that was my number one mascara for years. And it's been 15 years. Time is really flying by. So we got a little gift, I'm gonna open it for you all. I don't know what's in here, we'll see. But super cute little box. Okay, first up, a little CoverGirl pouch. Great to put your makeup in. This is gonna come in handy. You guys know I am heading to Perry. I'm heading to Paris, y'all, for Paris Fashion Week. I'm actually really excited about it. Even though I know once I get there, I'm gonna work harder than I've ever worked. Paris is a lot of work <laughs> trust me the girls who are doing all the fashion weeks they make it look so easy it is so exhausting but to me the very funnest fashion week okay i got out off on a tangent here's what's in here we have the cover girl makeup masters lash curler and i need to get back into curling my lashes i used to do it all the time and then i don't know what made me stop I also used to use primer for my eyelashes because my eyelashes are so curly. Sometimes I need that. We also have the CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus uh, eye pencil. That's cool. Could never have enough eye pencils. We have Clean Color. Oh, this is clean. Incredible. This is their uh, Spice Copper eyeshadow palette. I wonder if I can open it for you guys. Does it have a little... Oh no, it's very easy to open. Look how beautiful these colors are. So pretty with a little bit of shimmer. If I can find this, um, these products online, I'll link them down below. But th these are clean, which is incredible. I don't even think I knew that CoverGirl did clean makeup. So, of course, we have CoverGirl Lash Blast. How could they not give me this? This is what the party was all about. And then I believe they came out with this new lip gloss that's very similar to the one I have on, which this is the Fenty, y'all. This is the Rihanna. This must be the, the year of the gloss. Is, the, is 2023 the year of the gloss? I might need to trademark that and do a blog post on the best lip glosses, but clearly, I'm on to something. Riri on to something. CoverGirl's on to something. This is the clean, fresh, yummy gloss. Focus for me. Now, I already have on gloss. So I'll take this off and let you guys see. It has the same kind of color and consistency. I don't know. Is this a dupe? This is more clear. I mean, it's still good. Ooh, I'm gonna have to link this down below because I mean, what color is this? This is the Laugh Vendor <laughs> color two, two, 200. So that's what was in my gift bag. Shout out to Cover Girl and congratulations on your 15 years. I am about, you know what? I have not done a get unready with me ever. So I'm gonna do that because I've been wanting to show you guys what I use to take off my makeup at night. So we'll do that and then we'll go back to present day. But I really want to show you guys the skincare I've been using because I've been promising to show you forever and just keep forgetting. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I'm done for the night. That's enough vlogging for now. And yeah, but no, I'll check back in when I'm dressed for bed and we'll go through and I'll show you guys step by step 
my get on ready with me routine. All right guys, it is my favorite part of the day. Well, not really, one of my favorite parts though. When I take off all my makeup and my bra, if I happen to be wearing one, which is not today, and everything else. So I have on my house dress, my Skims tube top house dress. It's my favorite. I have two, just so you know. Um, I'll link it down below. I think I'm just going to do a montage of this, but all of the products will be down below. Um, I have three cleansers. I triple cleanse my face. I think that's been helping a lot. Um, I have a product that I use for dark marks. I have an anti-aging product. And then I have a product I use for acne. And then I have a product I use for my under eye. Let's get it. So I just did my three-step cleansing method. I use the Chanel cleansing oil. I use that first because it's an oil. You can really work it in and it really pulls the makeup kind of out of your pores. And once you add water to this, it starts to foam and then you just wash it off. And this is also great for getting like eye makeup off because of the oil. Next up, I do a, a cream cleanser just to get anything that's left. It goes a little deeper. This is the Dior La Mousse Off On. I love this. It's super gentle, barely has a scent. It just works really well with my skin. I think it also has a brightening component as well. Um, it eliminates impurities, urban particles, makeup residue, and excess sebum. It smooths and protects the skin hydration barrier. Great. I, I finish with this Dermalogica daily, glyco daily Glycolic Cleanser. This is a brightening cleanser. This is great for hyperpigmentation, just adding brightness to your face. Um, it helps with replenishing the skin and maintaining the barrier. So if I had to say one of those is my holy grail, I would say it's probably the Dior Cleanser. But since I've been using the Dermalogica, I have definitely seen a difference in the texture of my skin. So this is me. My eyebrows are gone. Um, so what I do next is I go in with a little bit of the It Cosmetics. I've done a few partnerships with them. I love their products because they are made by dermatologists and plastic surgeons. Hello. I use the Bye Bye Dark Spots. Um, and normally I just do about a medicine drop on each cheek and on my forehead because that's usually where I get acne and then that's where I get the hyperpigmentation. And so I put one drop on each cheek and then I just pretty much work it in for about a minute. And I use the minute method as well. But my pores are like nice and open from that glycolic cleanser. 
so I don't really need it all over my face just where my problem areas and it really kind of seeps in you can already kind of see it so we do that first is it cosmetics I will link it down below I have a little hyaluronic acid um now this is my beauty this is just my beauty thing <laughs> and this is from the ordinary i love the ordinary products they are super affordable at sephora they work just as well as those medical grade things because it's all natural again a medicine dropper now this is for my chin because i have a lot of dimpling in my chin mainly because i clench my jaw when i sleep and it <laughs> tends to make all of this bunch up and so it's uneven textured and so to help with that I use this I put a drop on my chin and then I'll go ahead and put a few drops on my neck and for my neck because we are counteracting gravity I only do upward motions on my neck And then my chin, I do circular. Finally, for acne, again, we use the Ordinary. Love this. This is their salicylic acid 2%. And this is kind of an oil base, which I like. Um, my problem areas right now are right next to my ears. I don't know why, but I have a lot of buildup here. And so I literally just put one drop right in front of each ear because this is where I get a lot of congested congestion especially when it's like that time of the month for me which is now unfortunately and so I just rub that in there but if you have a pimple anywhere else you can put this on there overnight as well sometimes I will do my forehead but right now just my jawline are the problem areas so I'm just rubbing that in Okay, last but not least, I use a little bit of the IS Clinical Reparative Moisture Emulsion. And when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit. I'm gonna show you just how much. Literally, <laughs> that much. You don't need a lot. I warm it up with the palms of my hands and I literally press it into my face. Whatever's left, my neck gets, and then my hands. Last but not least, these lips because they do feel crazy. I have a bunch of these little Laneige, Laneige lip masks that I got from Marshalls. We are going to do the mint choco. No, let's do, let's do berry tonight and I don't do this often maybe like once a week any other time I'll just use regular chapstick there you have it this is my skin and that is my get unready with me routine I will link all the products down below I've been doing this routine for about two months and I love it I think it's great all right, guys, I will return you back to the present. My bad, y'all. I forgot to show you the eye cream. It's the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. I'm sure you guys have heard of this. Um, I've actually been working with Kiehl's. I've worked with them for a while over the years, but this is one of my, one of my favorite products from Kiehl's in addition to their uh, cream that I use sometimes as a base for makeup. This is what this looks like, kind of green, a little bit creamy. You don't need a lot. I actually have too much. And again, just right under the eye with an upward motion. I also can put a little bit on my eyebrows and gently tap my lids. And what I like about this is it has kind of a cooling effect. Okay, that is the full Get Unready With Me Nighttime 
routine. And again, I've linked everything below. If you want to see what this looks like, I have to open a new one. There we go. Good stuff. Link down below. Now, I will take you back to the present. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed coming to the CoverGirl 50th anniversary of the Lash Blast Mascara with me. I had a really fun time. Um, I saw my girl Farah there, and we just had a blast. She actually just got engaged like yesterday and then she came to that event. Like she looked beautiful. Her ring is stunning. Um, all, all, all the girls are getting engaged. Hello. I love that for y'all. Lord, I've seen what you've done for others. Now look, I know that I've talked about looking for love and things. <sighs> Maybe I should start keeping things to myself because y'all be, y'all, mm, somebody done hopped in my email trying to send me their son. Please no, no. <laughs> no okay I approach I think I've done the just sit back and like let things type of come to me I've done that for 38 years or for however long of those years I've been dating since I was 16 that has not worked I believe that you have to especially when you are a businesswoman um you are a boss babe you have your hands on multiple businesses you are a multi-millionaire you have to move a certain kind of way um and this the same kind of way you move to make your dreams come true you gotta move to make relationships happen too i feel like too many people just wait for things to happen for them and i mean i've never been that kind of person so why would i wait for love which is what i've been doing before and i have talked to my therapist about this so we are trying a new approach we're doing things different this year y'all so yes I got it under control. You know, I do. I promise you I do. Okay. Uh, I think that is it for this video. It's been pretty long. We ended New York Fashion Week. We did a really fun event with, with Zara with their pop-up. We checked out the Zemo presentation. We did a Super Bowl party. We opened some packages. We did an event here in Miami. I think that is enough for this video. Yeah. I need y'all to thumbs it up. But before you go, before you go watch somebody else's video or watch last week's video, give the girl a solid and give me a thumbs up. I mean, we are trying to hit 100,000. We really are trying over here. And a lot of y'all be watching all the videos. I mean, all the videos. But y'all are not thumbsing up and y'all are not subscribed. Come on. Come on, come on. In the year 2023. We're gonna show our support by actually thumbsing up the video. Not just watching it. I mean, watching it is the major part, but it does help me out a lot. So thank you to the to the people who they thumbs the video up before the video even starts. Okay, like as soon as the, the music comes on and the, the montage of what the video is gonna be about comes on, they already gave me a thumbs up and a comment. And I appreciate it. And I see y'all and I know y'all by name, by, by username now, and I appreciate you. Okay. Um, I'm going to see you all in the next one. I'm going to a play tonight. Um, I think it's Wicked. Uh, I have some events to do. I'm going shopping today, so I'm going to have to do a haul. There will be another preparing for Paris Fashion Week video, and then we're getting straight into Paris because things are happening over there, and it's going to be good. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. Comment, share, love on this channel. You know, thank you. All right, guys, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.